you're knowing you're going to do something good for somebody. You're going to be somebody's good person on a bad day. Hoist operations are probably one of the most difficult things we do just because we have somebody on a cable that is very thin hanging from the aircraft, but it's where we go out and we rescue somebody from in tight spaces and they're kind of nerve wracking to start with, but once you get in the zone, we do so much training on hoist and so much practice hoist that once you actually get focused and actually doing the hoist, you are excited, honestly. <laughs> It's, it's a lot of trust between you and the crew chief, um, a lot of coordination between them and the pilots. Um, so you're several hundred feet off the ground. Uh, we train pretty extensively on making sure that we're secure. We, we triple check, make sure we have our secondary tag lines and we're secure in that route. Most important thing is just making sure that there's everybody is secure to something or some way so nobody's going to fall out of the aircraft. Getting the guys back in is one of the hardest parts and there's so many techniques to do it. It's, there's so much stuff and people to drag in and then after that you get them in, you have to disconnect the hook and make sure the patient is somehow secure. Um, and then when we get, make sure the patient's secure, the rescue seat and the medics secure to the aircraft and shut the door so we can start moving around in the aircraft and getting the patient to where he needs to be. When it's all done, it's kind of a, a relief because you know you accomplished your mission, you got it done, you did it right, nobody got hurt. You know you can do it, but it's also a relief to be able to get it done. That's the best job in the Army, man. Uh, you know, we get the opportunity to go out and give our wounded brothers and sisters a chance to get back home.